Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Legacy of the Dragonborn Relic, Relic Hunter playthrough. So, in the last episode, um, we did some things and stuff and things. Um, I sold off some stuff that was weighing me down. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, what we're going to do... Um, we're not going to... Um, what we're going to do is go head over to the museum um, because I have some quest items that I need to um, drop off at the museum. And I also added immersive armors to Legacy of the Dragonborn along with heavy armory. Um, or heavy weaponry, I think it's what it's called. Also, am add. I also added. Uh... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Letter from Aryan. Good day, my friend. I hope this much is find you well. I wanted to report, report to you that the current success of the museum and to offer you an additional incentive since you have pr proven yourself quite capable indeed. We have started a to, to receive visitors to the museum and they are quite taken with, with the displays. I've set up a donation box near the museum entrance and I will leave your share of, of the controversies made by patrons who visit inside, inside it. Feel, feel free to help yourself to proceed. Seeds and anytime you stop by additionally i wanted to offer the use of a museum safe house it's been lo locked up and unused for some time but i but i went in and made sure it was in good order you will find it is fully equipped with all the amenities you could ever want this key will give you access be well and keep keep up the good work cool Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sid Gear, and I have the honor to being the Jarl to, to be the Jarl of proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in in becoming a thane of Falkreath, hold I invite you to speak to me next time you are in Falkreath. Aside from the honor that occurs to the title my thanes are entitled to a personal house girl i also can tell you you private you privately that 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 a choice a parcel of land in fulcreth would be available for you to purchase should your services prove prove useful to me i look forward to meeting you in person i remain earl sidgear of fulcreth Um, okay, so I already have all of these. I could just... Oh, I don't have... Anyways. What the fuck happened to the textures? Uh Hello? What in the god damn hell happened? Okay, I might have to fix that. All right, well. Um Well, okay, so until I can get this fixed, because... Damn. Damn. 
you know what, hold on. I don't have time to, you know, go all the way to, uh, I might just get spawn in some iron ore. I don't like cheating, but you know what? Time is of the essence. There's the iron ore. You know what? Oh, well. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Why isn't it taking Nettlebane? Oh, I know why. Um, I think I know why. You're back. Wonderful. I trust things fare well. I found an odd weapon from a Dunmer trader, and it turned out to be something rather impressive. Here, have a look, and place it on display if you like. Where is this supposed to go? Okay, I don't like these purple textures, man. I don't know what I did. Where is Nettlebane supposed to go? These are all the staves. Oh wait, no, I know where it is. There we go. Yeah, I don't don't mind the purple textures, guys. I'll probably fix it later. Because I did all, all I did was just add some stuff. I didn't really. Wait a minute. must be the benefactor of this collection. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Avram Shazir. Orion hired me as the guard captain for the museum. With the collections growing so quickly, he needed another set of eyes to ensure it's all well protected. I intend to also hire additional guards as the museum continues to grow. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Where did Ori Arian find you? I answered a notice he had posted. We sat down and talked for a while, and I suppose he felt I had what it takes in the end. Hammerfell, 
Originally, of course. But I've been here in Skyrim for a couple years now. A little of everything, really. I just left a job as a dock warehouse guard in Donstar. It was quite boring. I wanted something a bit more dynamic and interesting. And how are things going around here? Nothing much to report. People are behaving themselves. Orien runs a tight ship around here. And all the patrons seem rather pleased. I'll see you around. Yeah, I don't know what, what, what went wrong with the museum, but I... Actually, I'm going to get to ironing. That's that's what I'm going to do. Ah, uh, yes. Dindu Lod broke things. Okay. I know what I, okay. I know what happened. I know what happened. Dindu Lod managed to break some things. Okay. That makes sense. Looking to protect yourself or deal Otherwise otherwise it God damn it. Yeah, didn't do Lod broke some things, so I might actually have to get rid of that. Yeah. I might actually have to get rid of that. If that's the case. Oh my god, everybody's talking about stuff. Yeah, so Dindu Lod broke. I broke Dindu Lod. All I did was rerun it, and I think um, rerunning it twice is like, uh, unfortunately, it broke. I'm wondering. I'm 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 very curious to see if that's the case. If it is the case, then I I can just get rid of Dindu Lod proper. And actually, I might I might actually downgrade to an earlier version of Dindu Lod. Um, yeah, because it seems that it broke some stuff. I need to get Armin's family sword. Yeah, because this is <laughs> this is making my um ADHD run wild. Alright, now I can actually do this. I'll go to the Thieves Guild, and um, what I'll do is that I'll test some things. Um, I'll get rid of Dindu Lod, possibly downgrade it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the Thieves Guild. Well, first, let's go to Armin. Ar Am Amrin, Armin, whatever. However you pronounce his name. However you say his name. Oi. You tried mercenary work? You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Right then. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Ha! Isran's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material.
takes us past many of the rivers. We can fill our skins there. If the river is not frozen to ice, perhaps. Yes? A peaceful greeting to you. There is much... There'll never... May your road lead you to warm sands. Never see you come. Yeah. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. You might run into some of them lizard folk in Rift. Quite a few of them work the docks there, not sure why. They liked swimming in the lake, maybe. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Another run in with a thief's guild. Hey, you. careful, you. get over here. The thieves' guild talk has to made in black. I'm really getting back. tired of your excuses. Of when you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. They I know I did, but how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Huh? What do you want? What kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. Tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now, Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh, thank you. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. People of Riften, heed my words. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? The signs. The signs what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. How could you possibly know that? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. What do you mean? Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. 
You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. Seem to be well acquainted with wealth. Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Why plant the ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from eight in the morning until eight in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. I'll be at the mar- It come morning. Okay, lad. Ready? Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. You need to hear this. Pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Gather round, all. Gather round, all. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of yes. time. Damn. I knew I should. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. What's been going on? Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton. A tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Buy armor from Buying and selling fine jewelry. Can't hide from me. Ha! Found you!
it up, Brigno. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? That beats what they do. They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds sounds good. Who are they? Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right. And I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. And how do you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. <clears throat> Bad for business. Is it done? Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Any help with Percy? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. And what hell? what's Helga's story? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. I'll be here when you're done. some armor and live to tell about it. All Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. What do you want? With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. And can then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. How did you meet Kirava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me.
So, can I interest you in anything today? Uh, wh what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves! Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do. So I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. I can't. Be careful. I can't. This isn't happening. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. I can't pay. I can't. This isn't happening. No! That urn was priceless. You want me to bring anything else? All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold. And leave me in peace. You have to come back here. Watch what you're doing. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. I have a message from Brynjolf. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Damn it. Beautiful and You know what? Now that I'm here. Protect yourself. Might as well. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, yes And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you <clears throat> riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Grella. Thank, Thank, Thank you for your kindness. Your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. It's Gorilla. Oh. I can't. That's Someone you. has killed Gorilla. <laughs> Gorilla is dead. Aventus did it. <laughs> Hooray! Just leave him dead at last. We're safe. Yay! Aventus really did it. He got the Dark Brotherhood to kill old Grelin. <laughs> hurrah! Hurrah! <laughs> Hooray! We love you, Dark Brotherhood! Mercy! <laughs> Mercy! Kill one person and you can solve so many problems. I wonder at the possibilities.
So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. So what's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold, gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is that your outfit isn't doing well. True? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. Oh, I think it is something to be Don't concerned about. about. Everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Sure. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. And... So how do I get a cut, cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. So what's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Uh, makes sense. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. So what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. 
Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries and our ripped in guards. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. And how do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar meadery, which would cut into her profits. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the Fourth Era in prison. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Back off. Now you I like. I've been getting sick of the pushovers that usually walk in here. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Now, it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. Sort of business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my uh, opinion, he might not be wrong about that. Bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? You I have... good. We could use the coin. One of the quickest ways to make some coin in Skyrim is to clear out some of the wealthier homes of their valuables. If you're interested, I could point out a good place that could use a little... house cleaning. What do you say? All right. Take this and get out of here. Oh. Oh, that's right here. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. 
Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Ooh, hello. Um, yes, I'll take that. Thank you. I'll take this for the museum. All right, then. Well... You are looking fine, Fenrir. You are looking f fine. Anyways, guys, I will end the episode there. Make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts. All that fun stuff. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye.